Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Aries the Emperor. I am so glad that you guys could join me on today. I hope everyone is doing wonderful. I'd like to welcome all of the newcomers um, and to those who are returning. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Okay, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, then this is the place to be. Uh, please take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, leave what doesn't, and place the gender roles where they need to be as well. This is energy, and energy is all fluid. And I'd like to thank all of you for all of your likes and subscribes to the channel, everyone um, who has commented, donated, booked for a reading. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Let's just keep growing. Okay? So, oh, right off the bat. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and jump in, okay? So, I just wanted to say a few things, too, while I'm pulling cards. Aries, Emperor Energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, but it's just like, what type of place is it that we live in and you can't be who you are? say what you need to say, you know, without being judged or cast out because it's not seen as the norm of society's standards. God gave me a voice. He gave you a voice. And I know I'm not going to shut up. Okay. And I believe that spirit has a place for me somewhere in this fucked up world. And he definitely has a place for you too. Or else you wouldn't be sitting here listening to the sound of my voice. I mean, because if spirit is speaking through me, then he is indeed allowing me to speak through you. And regardless, we're going to win every time, man. I challenge you, Aries, to never give up, never waver. Stand firm, live in your fucking truth, man, regardless of what anybody is talking about, because you are the fucking light. You always will be, man, get used to it. Come on, spirit. Let's go. Give me some cards. Give me a few more cards for the collective. Look at this. The world card. You mean everything. The end all to the be all. Start acting like it. You in a fucked up situation? Remove yourself from it. You got some fucked up people in your circle? Remove those motherfuckers from it. This is the end. This is what this means. This is your world. They are just living in it. You make the rules. You set the boundaries. All right? Knight of Wands. You're passionate. I believe someone here is passionate about the way they love, the way they feel, the way they feel about life. You know, don't let people hold you back. Chase your dreams and goals. Go after what it is. You know, we here for a short time, not a long time. Put in some work. Enjoy some of the fruits of your labor. One more card, Spirit. You could have Leo aspected in your chart. King of Pentacles. Okay. We also have the Devil, the Nine of Cups, and the Tower, Aries Energy. What did I say? You got people trying to put conditions on how you're supposed to love them or people making you feel a certain way because you're different. You have the power to end that shit. You don't have to stay bonded or bound to anyone or anything that does not mean you well. Yeah, the devil is all around, is around us all, everywhere. 
is in everything. It's always going to try and persuade you to do wrong. But that is up to you to know the difference. To not be swayed. To stand in your truth. Stand in your power. You are self-sufficient. You don't need a motherfucker trying to persuade you to do anything. Because you have gotten yourself this far. So why give up? You know, I feel like there could be some energies around you who are watching you. Maybe you are experienced some type, experiencing some type of glow up. Or maybe somebody's just seeing that your potential is more than just potential. That what you possess is actually in you and not something that's on you. You are born with this. And not only that, I feel like you're the type of person who could brag and, you know, really pop your shit. But I feel like you are humble. The King of Pentacles is somebody who works hard. They have it all, but they still don't down others for not being where they are in life because they know where they had to start. They know that it's a journey and that it's levels to this. Not everybody just starts off with a silver spoon in their mouth, but I feel like once you put in the work and you actually get there and you strive and work for your place, nobody can take it. You see how comfortable this man is in his spot? He's not moving. He's not budging because he knows what he's worth. Hell, let them walk out your life. Let them. You are the Aries. If it's anybody that's going to shake some shit up, it's you. Hell, you will burn that motherfucker down with everybody in it. If it comes down to it. And I feel like you may be hard on yourself as well, you know. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop nitpicking on yourself so much. Stop worrying about if it's like material things or... I just feel like it's something that you don't need to be just so engulfed in. I don't think people are looking at paying that close of attention to flaws and things like that, that you may look in the mirror and see. Because I see beauty, man. And you know they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Eight of Pentacles is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. This is a hard working person right here. You could be in school, an internship, or you could just be starting up something new you've never done before. But you're working hard at it. I see you mastering it and I see it paying off for you, Aries. Poof, Ace of Wands. I see it paying off for you, Aries. Don't be afraid to take risks, okay? With risk comes reward. Just have a plan, you know? Don't be impulsive. Don't blindly jump out there. Get the proper, re do the proper research. Um, get the proper advice. Don't be afraid to reach out for help either from those around you um, who you know you can trust and who have been down the avenues that you are trying to go down. Okay. Give me a few more cards, Spirit, and I'm going to close it out. Knight of Cups. Your creativity, man. I see good things for you, Aries. I see opportunities coming in for you. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio aspected in your chart. But whoever I'm speaking to, man, you're very deep, very creative. You have to protect stuff like that. Protect energy. Protect your ideas.
And like I said, love you. Don't let nobody put no conditions on how you supposed to love them. Need one more card, Spirit. I see you crossing over, man, doing something big, something major. You could be the breadwinner in your family. Wow, what did I say? Ace of Cups. If you're not the breadwinner of your family, you better get fucking ready. <laughs> Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands, man. The universe is with you. These are two majors, Aries. You're special, baby. Just put the work in, all right? I'm going to leave your guys' reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay away from those backstabbers. And I'll catch you later, Aries. Ciao.